On Thursday, August the 15th, 2024, Ontario's Ministry of Transportation announced that the Wolf Islander 4 would begin full-time service from Marysville on the 17th. Conditions on the day could scarcely have been less auspicious. With the first run on the new service expected at 5am, I made an unusual trip to Wolf Island the night before. Arriving in Marysville to see the Wolf Islander 3 come to the village after her last run, the skies themselves seemed to be shedding a tear as she drew up to the dock's east wall. As 5am approached, I drew up for the first time to the new Marysville dock. At the appointed hour as dawn began to break, I was called aboard the ferry. The whole complex is bright and well laid out. The boat is bright and welcoming and the crew efficient, but the length of the vessel is very apparent. The passage took a shade over 20 minutes and we approached Kingston in daylight. With pedestrians disembarked, it was quickly time to leave the boat after a very pleasant and uneventful experience. Returning to the island next day for an engagement, I had the opportunity to see the boat in normal service in daylight. She pulls away from the dock strongly and surprisingly quietly. Before very long, she's approaching Marysville. Movement off the boat and along the dock is quick and easy. On shore, the terminal is spacious and well appointed. Workaholics will love the workspace. Generous seating is available before you exit the terminal to board the ferry. By way of a dedicated gangway that doesn't interrupt the loading of vehicles. The arrangements on the new dock make both unloading and loading considerably more efficient. We'll close this update by taking a closer look at the two ferries that so well serve the Wolf Island community. Past and now present. Thanks for taking a moment to watch.